for you, what has this experience been like? Watching this, it's exploded on stage and now mm -hmm. putting it in Denzel's hands and bringing yes. it to the big screen. Yes. Talk to me about that. Well, Denzel gave me a call and he said, you know, I've been uh, thinking about what my next production or my next project is going to be and I wanted to be Fences and I wanted to have the same cast as I had on Broadway and I want to do August Proud. He was very very emotional and and uh, it was it was like a very spiritual uh, decision for him to tackle this this great story. It's not easy. So then he rolled up his sleeves and and started. I went to uh, the set for about a week. I saw him at work, and boy, did he ever work. There were people around me saying, you know, Denzel just sent me a, a text, and it was 3 o'clock in the morning, only stopping to eat when, when you know, we, we got clouds above us. You know, he worked at a feverish pace, I think, but, uh, but he so believed in this story that, that, you know, and it came out so beautifully. What does it mean to you personally, deep in your heart, uh, to know that, and I spoke to the rest of the cast, every one of them says their number one goal was to make August proud. Exactly. When you hear that, what does that feel like? Oh, I just, I, oh, I am so proud of my husband. You know, I wish that he were here, that, you know, sitting by my side, it, it's a little bittersweet, for sure, and, a little, and very emotional. But to have that cast do such you know, do justice to this play, for them to feel like the words of August Wilson are so important, and for them to feel like this this movie is going to go down in history as being the first African American uh, movie made of August Wilson's play Fences, you know, they understand the historical significance, and and so do I. I can't be prouder. You knew August, obviously, like, you know, no one else did. Yes. Where did his voice come from? Where was this deep inside of him? Well, I think that uh, from his great observation of humanity, from being raised, you know, in the Hill District of Pittsburgh, it was the, the best of times and the hardest of times for him. You know, he decided to be an artist in within the community that you were lucky to get a job. And, you know, to become a, to say to your mother, I'm gonna become a poet, you know, it's like for his mom to say, oh my God, you know, you're worried about your, your son. But to, to see August being so true to himself, you know, he never ever compromised. And he kept going and he kept hearing those voices of everybody. And to give the, you know, the African American experience a voice on stage is pretty phenomenal. And and uh, and and historic in itself.